Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and White. Good to see you again. I'm Marilyn and we are back with another purse clearance. Um, things that came in a thread of um, purses over time. I haven't had one in a while. Um, I'm on a um, thread up freeze out, even though I have quite a few um, jewelry boxes still to open. Um, all the purses, I'm not ordering purses anymore because um, as our good friend subscriber Irene said, that's really not my wheelhouse. So I'm just trying to give you uh, clearance prices and get some good name brand handbags at a discount. So let's just jump right in. Oh, at the end of this, I also have a Goodwill Blue Box purse box. Um, my first one I opened in the last video um, or a couple of videos ago, I'm not sure how it will run, but oh, uh, it was a disappointment. So fingers crossed, this one's better. Our first item up is this huge um, Kate Spade tote. It is, um, comes with a Kate Spade um, dust bag. It's pink inside, it needs to be cleaned, um, has one zipper pocket on one side and two slips on the other. It does have a zipper um, that does work. Um, and it's one of those that um, they come apart, but it is definitely a tote. Um, and on the inside it's pink and it says Kate Spade with the little spade. Um, on the back, okay, on the front, um, there is no um, crossbody or shoulder straps on these. Um, no place for them. So you just have these straps. It is the textured um, uh, tan color, like with the pink inside. The back looks really great. Has one spot here. However, it does have the um, legs, but the edges um, are a little rough. Um, each edge has wear on it. And um, because of that, I'm just going to say, let's, I mean, this is a great tote bag, really big, good condition besides those four corners and needing to be clean. That's another thing, I'm not cleaning these, I'm giving them to you at a really, really great price. And for this one, I'm gonna say, let's do, that's big. I'm gonna say, let's do $35. That's a great price. The next one I have is just um, this really cute coach wristlet. Um, it has the wrist thing that you can also um, put it on the little zipper pocket and it zips open. So then you can use it as a purse or a little tote. Um, the zipper works fine. It is patent leather with a signature C's and a silver black and white. And the coach is a silver um, color also. On the inside, it's this fabulous purple. Isn't that great? Um, it has a little bit of discoloration right there. Um, other than that, it looks really nice. Um, it has one um, hang tag. And for this, I'm going to say, adorable little thing, I'm gonna say $15. The next one we have is this Forever 21 new um, with tags. Um, great for a spring and summer. Um, and it's red and um, natural straw with a um, cap top, um, brand new. Um, has the um, tag still inside and it has, um, it comes out. So if you need to wash it, like I said, this is brand new, so you don't need to wash it. Um, but it is cute as could be with the little button. So for this, and it has a long shoulder strap that's um, faux leather. So for this, I'm going to say 
Um, just, let's do, oh, let me tell you what it originally was. Um, according to the tag, it was $27.90. So I don't know if you can see that. And um, new tags, so also a great gift. So here's the straps on the back that hold it together. So I'm gonna say, and it's flat bottom, so it's easy to sit. I'm gonna say, let's do $10. Now I got a cute, my um, niece used to call this an armpit purse, and this is Y2K. Um, it is leather, it's coach, it is um, signature C's on the inside, like so. Has a zipper on one side, nothing on the other. It definitely has the creed. Let's get out my glasses. And it says, um, the last four numbers is 9541. So it's vintage, I believe. And um, it's cute. It doesn't say made in the USA, but it does come out. So it's not bad at all. You could wash it, make it look really great. But I love these because out for a night, um, matching hang tag. Um, it needs to be cleaned on the outside. A quick um, wash will be really nice for this. Um, but it is in good condition. It's the um, bucket straps and just an adorable purse. So I'm going to say let's do let's do 15. Now these. Are unusual. This did not come in um, a thread up box. This came from thrifting and um, a socket to me, baby. Isn't this cool? This is just um, a cool bag. Um, I call this a hippie bucket bag. Um, it is, let's see if there's a name in here. There's not, it says main body made 100% polypropylene made in China. And it is a, a zipper pocket on one side and um, nothing on the other. Uh, really clean inside. Um, some of the um, disc have um, discoloration see if you can see that and there is some pulls um, and then there's also beads in here so this is really cool it's two straps like so and it's just a cute fun vintage bag so on this I'm just gonna say a simple five dollars love it now let's open Our Goodwill Blue Box. Thanks. Hope it's better than the last one. I haven't ordered any more. This one is from, are they all from the same place? Lake Worth. I'm a Florida girl, so they don't have a very far to come. But they tape this one up. package these great all right guys fingers crossed same as the last one this was purchased on March 18th and it says two purses and that's what it looks like these out and get rid of the box. There's the empty box. Okay, our first bag is a black, black bag, um, crossbody, um, gold tone. Let's see. Imitation leather, 
made in China, brand new, a zipper pocket on one side, and a zipper on the outside. No, um, nothing on the bag. So I'm just gonna say a simple $5. These have been seriously let down. Now this one is this. This is a, and I'm sorry, you know I have, I'm horrible at these. It's a Gia Navarni, like so. There's the logo, and I know I messed that up. It's a really um, good condition. It is a snap on the back, like so. A, a zipper on the front. It's brand new. And that's what I pretty well um, have heard, that all of these are brand new. Um, pocket there. This one's got a ton of pockets. Um, a pocket straps are in my way pocket here and then just inside and then on this one there's a zipper pocket here on the inside let's see what this says non-leather material made in Cambodia so on this one I'm just gonna say 15 um, our next um, clearance on purses is just going to be my um some vintage thrifted purses and um who knows i might go to the bins while i'm on vacation well i am currently on vacation and i thought i would show you a little teaser look where i went hello look who i found hi 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 guys welcome to shady and wise channel met Bren and Janet with Happy Hour Haulers for lunch, and then we went to the bins. I am excited to check out this really cool Goodwill bins. Um, sorry for this horrible camera work, but I'm new at the walk-in and talk-in thing and videoing. It's not my strong suit. And once you get inside and see how I handle the bins, you're going to say, okay, this might not be her wheelhouse either, but come on, let's see what we find. This place was gigantic. I mean, huge, bin after bin after bin. And it's the really nice shallow blue bins, unlike our Tampa St. Pete um, bins that have the big canvas, um, really, really deep bins that you have to yeah. dig into. So like Janet walked in and she's immediately finding pieces. I'm gonna tell you, I find anybody who can go into these bins and go through these and find all the fascinating and wonderful bargains that they do, I am in awe. Obviously, this is not for everybody, and I have to admit, I know nothing about this kind of stuff, but I find it fascinating, but I also find it extremely extremely overwhelming And let's see how Brent's doing. Is this the pro section? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not finding much. No? 
No, not this time. This morning was better. And this is what happens when they bring out fresh bins. People stand back and they just wait and they're waiting to be released. And I was a little nervous because I'd never seen what goes on. But of course, Brent and Janet, I have to say, what great jobs they do. And no wonder they find such amazing things because they get right in there and dig through it. So that is so great. But like I said, the bins is definitely a wonderful place to find great bargains and great items but you have to jump in and get committed and be ready to really get into it It is pretty loud. Um, that not only do they have music going, but people are rushing around and throwing things. So it is a little loud. Um, I was able to find one thing at the bins, and it turned out to be a fabulous item. I got a quilt, um, and I will show you um, a photo of it. So I put it in our little cabin in the mountains. It weighed eight pounds and I paid $5 for it. So it looks amazing. Um, really a, a nice little quilt. I want to thank Janet and Bren with Happy Hour Haulers for meeting me at the Asheville Bins. I generally don't go um, and this was an experience so if you do not subscribe to them definitely go check out their channel they have a fun channel and they have some amazing hauls so be sure to go also and check them out today because they are putting up a Asheville Benz haul and gonna show video of it also so thanks so much guys appreciate you taking this trip with me and thought you might enjoy the view of our little cabin in the mountains by the creek just gorgeous doing well thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us um comment below tell us what you thought because i think this was horrible i really am not a purse salesman i just want to give you clearance items um for items that i have definitely give us a thumbs up subscribe below and we will see you on the next one